the PFRDA and they are observing today, that's October 1st, as the NPS Divas to try and promote pension and retirement planning as well. In fact, Nikunj caught up with the chairperson of PFRDA, Deepak Mohanty, and spoke with him about how NPS has grown over the years and the key benefits for its subscribers. Listen in. Well, it gives me great pleasure now to bring on board Mr. Deepak Monti, Chairman of PFRDA, to talk about the NPS scheme, importance of long-term financial planning, and what kind of revolution the NPS scheme has brought into equity investing, and what is the total corpus which now seems to be coming every month from PFRDA. It's your first time I'm interacting with you on this forum, so very warm welcome and thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you, Nikunj. Uh, PFRDA, give us bring our viewers up to speed with what kind of corpus PFRD is managing. How much is that corpus coming is in equities? How much is that in non-equities? Uh, Nikun, the two schemes PFRDA regulates and manages, so that is uh, NPS and APY. And uh, APY is a small ticket uh, you know, pension fund. Uh, so, uh, so that is uh, aimed at uh, low income and deprived section of the, of the people. Uh, so, the fund uh, that we are managing now is about 13.3 lakh crore. 13.3 lakh, lakh crore. crore. That's bigger than a lot of AMCs put together. Yes, absolutely. Mm. And uh, largely it comes from the NPS. And uh, the number that we are looking at, uh, NPS and APY put together is 7.8 crore uh, people. Uh, uh, the, unique those, folios. Those, sorry? These are the subscribers or unique uh, folios? Uh, which subscribers. These subscribers. Are sub you see here, uh, NPS, APY, you have to have a unique account. Okay. Uh, so that means uh, one account for per, uh, per uh, subscriber. So these are the number of subscribers who are coming. Uh, but NPS, we have about 1.54 crore subscriber. Out of that, 94 are uh, from the government because as you know, uh, post-2004 uh, government employee joining there, they have to necessarily come into NPS. And uh, then we have opened it uh, in 2010 uh, to private sector. Uh, even Aam Admi can open, any, any common citizen can open. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, last week, we opened it for uh, children. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that is also seeing an encouraging um, uh, trend mm -hmm. that we have already under NPS Vashele, which is for children. Uh, so 31,000 uh, accounts we have, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we have opened. Uh, so it's a good, uh, you know, this product is uh, picking up. And uh, going forward, there's a uh, lot more potential, particularly from the private sector to come in there. At what rate is the NPS uh, corpus growing at? Uh, in a corpus, two things. One would be the contribution. And the other thing is how the market is performing. As you see now, the market, both across debt and equity, uh, are performing well. Uh, so given that scenario, annual increase in um, corpus is about, uh, you know, um, uh, about 30% CAGR. This includes the NAV appreciation also? Yes, yes, yes. Both put together is about 30%. And in terms of the number that we are seeing private sector, I am talking just of NPS. So annual growth in number is about uh, 21%. Okay. So 21, seven and a half crore account, within that one and a half crore uh, accounts, I am using the word accounts here, Yes. yes uh, is private sector? About uh, no, five? no, 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 no. One and a half is NPS. Okay. Out of that, uh, so 94, 90 uh, as government, 60 are private. 60, 60 lakh. 60 lakh. 60 lakh is private. Private. The private sector contribution is growing at about 20% plus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, private sector people joining. People joining is Number at 20%, people, 20 plus. percent okay. plus. Okay. And what about the government sector? Uh, government sector, as in when people come necessarily, they would have to join. So that is depends on the government recruitment. So normally six to seven percent kind of a rate that we see on that side. Within that corpus of thirteen lakh crore, how much is invested in equities and how much is invested in debt? Uh, see, out of that, about uh, twenty percent are in uh, equity. So okay. that would be like uh, two point uh, seven mm. lakh crore uh, is in is in equity. Okay. Uh, of course, people have the choice. Mm. That here, what happens uh, that if you are, uh, you know, coming through private sector, uh, from uh, your active choice, mm -hmm. you can choose equity-oriented uh, NPS, mm -hmm. where seventy-five percent of your investment can go into go into equity. Okay, if this rate of growth continues by pri private sector contributors coming to NPS, which is twenty percent plus, do you think mathematically in five to seven years the split could be fifty-fifty? Uh, yes, certainly. Yes, certainly, because uh, that is what is happening, because the way the growth is coming on the private side, at one point, the private sector would overwhelm the government sector in terms of, uh, certainly in terms of number, 
and take a little uh, couple of years in terms of in terms of uh, the corpus because you know in the government corpus what happens the government also contributes and uh, uh, the employee also contributes uh, mathematically can you establish a ballpark number for us as to how much pfrd every year including the government and the private scheme is investing in equities uh, so this is what the number what the number i gave you so that's both that's both. That's, uh, that's both. So two lakh crore uh -huh, is broadly the two point uh -huh. two lakh crore uh -huh. is the broadly the total investment PFRDA has done in equities. Yeah, yeah. So no, again, this is again done by and you, can, you know by the professional fund manager. Of course, of course. Uh, of course, we do investment guidelines. You know, they can put in the top two hundred scripts as things uh, stand now, and uh, so they make the choice looking at the market and uh, things like that and the performance, and uh, then we regulate in the sense that we also set benchmarks for them. So fund managers must try to beat the benchmark in that whole process. Their performance is also monitored. Mm -hmm. So it's a well-regulated, uh, well-regulated -re scheme. For for everyone watching the show, if I say that the tagline in India 30 years ago was "Roti Kapda Makan," then it became "Roti Kapda Makan and Mobile Phone." Now it is "Roti Kapda Makan, Mobile Phone and Wi-Fi." But the real tagline for every Indian should be "Roti Kapda Makan NPS," then a mobile phone and then a Wi-Fi. So NPS should be the importance of NPS is as high as Roti Kapda Makan. I would say even uh, more important than that, mm -hmm. because as we just open for children, mm -hmm. this time to uh, a newborn, at least I would yeah. think that immediately would not get attracted yeah. uh, with a, with a mobile phone to that extent. Mm -hmm. But they have been allowed to open NPS uh, account. Can anyone open an NPS? Anyone can open an NPS account. Anyone can open an NPS account, and the entry barriers are also low because with a thousand rupees, uh, one can open an NPS account and keep it active. Thousand rupees per year. For someone uh, who is not employed by the private sector or government sector, is is self-employed? Can they also open yes, an NPS? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. It is more suitable for them. You know, uh, self-employed, small businesses, professionals, uh, they can come and join, and they can come and join uh, digitally. Uh, on their own initiative, you don't uh, look at anybody's face, uh, you know, so this is being done digitally, they can do it. And uh, though those who are not digitally that savvy, uh, they can walk to their next, uh, you know, their own bank uh, and open it. Uh, and, and it's a low cost product. This cost is quite, quite low. What so one need not worry about that. What is the average cost? See, the average cost of management is just 0.047%. Point percent. Point zero four seven percent. Okay. Yeah, that's the that's the average cost of management. It's quite low. The average mutual fund for equity diversified scheme charges about two point two percent. In that, if I look at the point zero four percent, I think the huge advantage what you get in long term in terms of uh, uh, of cost of saving and cost of fee on a ten year period on a on a fifteen year period can really make a lot of difference. Can I say that that NPS no, is no, easy? Absolutely. NPS absolutely. is effective. NPS is managed by the best talents. It is easy to run, it is easy to maintain, and it is very cost effective. No, no, absolutely. And it's a highly flexible scheme. It is not that you are logged into a particular fund manager. If you think that particular fund manager is not doing that well, you can switch it, uh, you know, to the fund manager. And uh, and this is it is not that regularly monthly you have to put money. You mentioned about you know small businesses. Uh, professionals, the, they may not have uh, regular cash flows to that extent that they put savings. Uh, even, you know, so irregular uh, cash flow, this is a very good uh, scheme that whenever you think there is a surplus, uh, rather than uh, wasting that money in uh, different uh, consumptions, you can put uh, some into, into pension. So that makes a very good... Uh, very can good a housewife sense. also open a pen? Uh, yes, NPS? absolutely. And yeah, I would say it is even more uh, relevant for them. Mm. Uh, see, this um, housewife means then again they are in unpaid uh, um, homework. Mm. And uh, so they are not compensated. But longevity of women, we must have to realize, is longer than men. Uh, so, uh, you know, this notion, if the man is working and has one pension account, that is a nirvana for everybody, for the whole family, is not correct. Uh, you know, uh, so women need it more. So why not enable? Mm. The man may be working in a formal sector, has a pension account, so why not uh, open for spouse? Why not open for children? Uh, so why not gift it to uh, your uh, own children or your uh, relatives and loved ones? Uh, so that is how it is. And uh, uh, you know, more than anything, it also brings in that habit of thrift and financial responsibility. Uh, so it is. I would think it's a good scheme, and uh, and everybody must have it. Tell us about one of your most innovative schemes. 
how can one participate in it do you need to do daily contribution can you do weekly contribution do you need to do monthly contribution how does it work no this as i said that uh, uh, even a single contribution in year will work okay so we have made it so flexible single contribution in the year can also keep the scheme alive absolutely unlike sip where you have to do monthly contribution to keep the scheme absolutely. alive absolutely and uh, there is no penalty in 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 that sense and uh, so uh, but it's a good thing that uh, the savings habit should be uh, should be there on 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 a regular basis uh, on a monthly basis or something we can set uh, there is no fixed amount that one would have to put it uh, so it is your choice how much money you want to do and we have also made uh, it easy there comes a time when your heart calls for you to arise plant your feet solid into the ground decide your own limits and then break right through them become something more it's my time to rise